shall I do to enter the kingdom of God? Look at verse 21. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, take up thy cross, rich man, take up thy cross, professor, take up thy cross, kings and princes, Take up thy cross. This is a highly place. Look at this man here. The Lord Jesus Christ did not miss words. He told him, this is what it takes to get into the kingdom of God. And that's what the Lord is telling us tonight. There is the cross before the crown. And he says, take up thy cross and uh, follow me. Look at verse 22. And he was such at that saying. And went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around about, and says unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? When the man went back, Jesus did not change the standard of the world, the necessity of carrying the cross of taking the cross, of bearing the cross, before we can win the crown. There are many people, there are many preachers. Once they see that the rich people are not coming, highly pleased people are not coming, they're saying that is too tough, that is too hard. The word of God is too hard for them. They cannot accept the word of God. They go back. There are some preachers that will say, we better modify this thing. Why would you do that? To get them to come in, you are going to have a crowd, not a church. You are not good. You are going to have people that are religious but not righteous. People are not ready to get to heaven. Jesus did not change the standard of the word of God, and Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. If we're going to get to the kingdom of God, it says, anyone whosoever will follow after me will take up his cross, will deny himself, and will follow me. I pray God will give you the grace to. To do that in Jesus name after all what are we calling great men great men for only 50 years only 20 years only 30 years in the world and then in eternity forever and ever suffering in the in the lake of fire what's it what about that but if you will humble yourself today and say Lord I know you are not going to lower your standard I know that you are going to maintain the word of God because you are ever true and faithful to your word and I want to get to heaven I submit and it is when you submit yourself to the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ. You become a disciple of Jesus and by the grace of God will make it in Jesus name. And then the disciples were astonished at his word. But Jesus answered again and said unto them, children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. The point is the Lord Jesus Christ emphasized that we need to bear the cross. One and all, young and old, there is a cross that you have to bear. And then you look at your life and the Lord is saying, you have to deny yourself. You have to give up something. And it is when you give up all those things, the Lord is requesting from you that you say, Lord, whatever it takes, whatever difficulties or challenges, whatever trial, whatever temptation, I'm going to make sure that I plow through in the grace of God and then on the final day there will be a crown waiting for you in Jesus name. Give me a good amen to sleep. Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 23. Luke chapter 9 verse 23. And he said unto them, unto them all, no exception. He says, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. What's the next word there? Daily and follow me. There may be a challenge you face every day in the office. But that's a cross. Because you are not trying to do the fraudulent thing with them, then they are, they are kind of, uh, you know, putting their mouths and putting their eyes on you. Persecution. 
slander. And then they talk against you. And they persecute you. But every day, you just go there and do your work. And you take your stand. Because Jesus Christ said, if we're going to win the crown on the final day, whatever people do and whatever people say, however they act, however they do not act, every day you bear your cross and you deny yourself so that you'll be able to get there. And I pray you will get there. In Philippians, in Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, we see the example and the model of the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Philippians chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 5. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. You want to get to heaven? Have the mind of Christ. You want to win the crown? Have the mind of Christ. His sacrifice, his humility, his self-denial, and the way he bore the cross. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, such it not trouble to be equal with God, but he made himself of no reputation. And he took upon him the form of a servant, and he was made in the likeness of men, and being found... In fashion, as a man, he humbled himself. What did he do? I said, what did he do? He humbled himself. Can you humble yourself? Are you so great in your own estimate? Woman, so high, that we're going to submit to the word of God. We want to get to heaven. He humbled himself, Christ, the second person in the Trinity. He humbled himself. And the Lord is saying, we should have that same mind, that same attitude, that we bend low and we bend our knees and bend our hearts and our mind before the word of God. It says in that verse 8, being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even to the death of the cross. The death of the cross. That's why the Lord is telling us that we need to also allow self to die on the cross that we are bearing. In Galatians chapter 6, Galatians chapter 6, verse 14, but God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. God forbid that I should be proud. God forbid that you should be proud, full of yourself. You want to deny that self, humble yourself, bend low by the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ, and then you say, oh Lord, do not allow ever in my life such pride and such a feeling of self that I cannot recognize the demand of heaven upon my life that says, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. Hebrews chapter 11. Those who have gone before us, and those who follow the Lord before us, they realize there must be the cross before the crown want to win the conqueror's crown, but then we bear the cross. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Can I explain that to you? In Egypt, Pharaoh was a king, and the one that was heir to the throne should be a son of Pharaoh. But that Pharaoh at that time at most... You have received the message from our pastor, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, the general superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your hearts. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week, and the one we are going to listen to the next week, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. If you tarry, we shall listen together once again next week. 
And if not, every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.